Hello, everybody. Oh dear. I uh, I was spinning through about three times, and then I uh, <laughs> I logged out, logged back on, and it, now I'm wishing I didn't down 300 TV versus I believe a good coach. I believe he was in the playoffs. I could be wrong. Six four seven. Maybe I'm wrong. Is <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. His record isn't great, <laughs> but um, well, in Arian, this is where you're wrong about having the bench. <laughs> because I've got 280k, so guess what? Guess what? I've got a bench to the tune of maybe Zara the Slayer. Oh shit, look at that! I've got a bench! Wow! That I wouldn't have had if I didn't have that. Funny, eh? Funny how that works. I think Zara. She can stab things. He hasn't got any tackle. He's got two dirty players, that's disappointing. 16 players who'll foul a lot. I'm not gonna scum a wizard as well. I'm gonna need that money to <laughs> buy back all the players after they fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, 12 players, and there's a strength 5 catcher. Yeah, there's an option of a whiz and something else for 110, isn't there? It's so like could have a whiz and an apple. And the apple's just like bench, isn't it, essentially? So like, you know, I could just have a whiz and an apple. But I quite like that Zara... She's good, isn't she? She's strong, she's got blood, she's got stab and stakes. Yeah, I could scum Eldril, but Eldril's super fragile. And he's all in on the getting the turnover quickly and scoring. I don't like that high risk, high reward. Zara suits my style more. I could see, I could see, uh, you know, Who's to say what's better between like Wizard and uh, Apple or Zara or Eliod, uh, Eliod, Eldril? Like different people's styles are gonna have different different preferences, right? Chunter, Inarian, Eliod, very different kinds of players. So you can be comfortable with something is gonna. a factor isn't it I was I was never gonna have bought a thrower a line it would have been a lineman <laughs> and I would have had 200 so I'd have had a wizard and a, and a babe which would have been all right I mean, that's your opinion, Yak. It's not we all know. And it's not... You can't just say it's good. And you can't say we all know anything. It's just... So, yeah, going back to the... Uh, going back to the... Discussion of Chalice. Once you establish the only thing that matters is selling more copies of Blood Bowl 2. That should be the goal of Chalice. Then there's certainly an argument for, as Yak illustrates, there's an argument for the for doing it that way to see the different races in the cup, and that's good. The Artemis's argument is he wants to see the best players, and you know, it's neither's right or wrong, is it? It's just you just don't know. But I think, I think streamers are like integral to the chalice, right? Because Cyanide or Nikon or fucking Focus or whatever aren't advertising CCL at all. So who cares about CCL? So it can only be 
like streamers doing anything, isn't it? Like it's just pretty much all on the streamers at that point, right? To build any any kind of interest in the cup. I'd say. So it gives them a target to play and then yeah I guess so by having seeing as streamers are more likely to want to qualify than a normal person and want to qualify like you know with any team then I guess having that um, diversity thing is a good idea I'm not gonna pass I just want to I just want to win because it's this is pretty scary I'll just try to win no passes allowed tackle on his team. No. Yeah, yeah, so I think in that in that regard having them being uh, a diversity thing is good, yeah. Because that is definitely a thing. Like they're definitely people who are trying to qualify look at the records and go This is weak. I'll try and qualify this. And streamers are usually trying to qualify. What's happening? Do you mean on the pitch, <laughs> Mio? It's a daka. Daka, 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 daka. Run away. They've got to follow you. And then you suck them in. <laughs> and then, and then you like break through and run, run them down because like they've got load, they've left loads of space in behind, haven't they? It's basically, the idea it saves you getting punched by mighty blow and fouled by dirty player for a few turns. It's better when you one nil up because then they've got to come towards you. If he just stays, then you stay as well, and it saves you like three or four turns of attrition, <laughs> which is pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, suck them off, <laughs> and then get on on your bike. <laughs> Hello, Rosie. Yeah, strength five catch is okay, isn't it? It's not the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Doctor Fields. But <laughs> yeah, you get to play less blood ball as well. That's great, and you get to do loads of passes as well. Like if your opponent's an absolute shitter, or if like their team isn't far better and scarier like now, then you can just make loads of, farm loads of passes in the backfield, which is very fun. Very fun to just like farm infinite passes in the backfield. easier with woodies, yes. If you like cheating, then uh, <laughs> wood elves are the team for you. <laughs> if you like to play fair, then you probably shouldn't use wood elves. I feel like, much like dwarves, it's morally wrong to use <laughs> wood elves. No, I'm joking. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? But yeah, it works for woodies. Uh, 
uh, I mean, he's definitely getting dodge next, Ruzi. He's definitely getting dodge, and then I'll think about whether block or wrestle. I guess block, right? Because he's he's too valuable. People will foul him, so so I guess block. Woodies and chuffs, yeah, yeah. That you know, people who play as Woodies and chuffs are just disgusting human beings. No, obviously not. It's fine. Play whatever you like, even if it's Nurgle, but just don't expect to win if it's Nurgle. <laughs> or rather, don't be disappointed when you lose if you're Nurgle. You can still expect to win with any team, can't you? I expect to win with Ogres sometimes, but at least, at least just don't be disappointed when you do. No, he's, he's de I guess, yeah, he's strength 5, he could just go block. Yeah, yeah, actually he might just get block first. Yeah. I don't know, dodging is really good, though. Dodging is really good. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would burn spaghetti, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can imagine backyard door door, yeah. Like it's a really unusual tactic, isn't it? I think it's I think it's great the guy who thought of it. Well, I don't think he's a great person and he didn't really think of it anyway. It was probably Dio, wasn't it? It was probably Dio, like, to be fair. It was probably Dio. Dionysian. Not really. Definitely not Matt Dacker. More Dio. Matt Dacker's the guy who it's named after, but he doesn't even really do it. Just get casually outbashed by my elves, thank you very much. Ha! ha! <laughs> Okay, Panamio. <laughs> okay. I believe you. You and Inarin have been playing playing each other with it. run away on defense a lot <laughs> it's the best strategy claw on mirrors claw on mirrors oh, oh the defender of the daka oh uh, yeah no that doesn't make a lot of sense does it hmm 
Man, this fucking... This fucking guy with the fucking break tackle is kind of annoying, isn't he? Do I want to break through this turn? Maybe. This guy's so, super annoying, though. Holy shit. But this, this is weak and this is weak, isn't it? This is super weak. This is only quite weak. I mean, the strength 5 catcher helps, doesn't it? GFI, yeah, I think I'll GFI with him. GFI with him, might as well. He can go there at the end. The GFI there, okay. I guess I'll do this GFI first. Unfortunately, guaranteed removal. <laughs> yeah, fish and chip chop chips. Yeah, Randor skills are pretty cool, aren't they? It's really, it's super hard to resist them as well for three SPPs. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. <laughs> so hard to resist going Randor instantly. I think like general, I think Stunty's taking general Randor's, general Randor's is really good. So I think I would wait and get general Randor's on there. Everyone else, fuck it, just go random, instant, instant random. Hat is, yeah, absolutely critical. On spaghetti dinner, that's <laughs> pretty good thing. Critical to go. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think like. The Dakar has been. Maybe just people generally running away, obviously, but. There's a difference between people just running away to not get hit and, like, it being a core strategy, I think. And, like, the hard Dakar as well. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, but who's gonna take them? Like, gutters, maybe? Gutters would rather get randoms, random generals though, wouldn't they? Because if you haven't got dodge, like who's going to take a random agility? You'd probably, you're just going to take random generals, aren't you? Probably. Is the thing. Is this a blitz? Why is the blitz knocking here? That should have been a line on knocking him, shouldn't it? <laughs> Ha! Ha! 
It's great, isn't it? How, how would you not? How could you not enjoy your daca? I just stab him. Or I could dodge. Double GFI up there, and then he's totally safe. <laughs> yeah, you got to embrace the Tate though. How can you not Tate over the fucking Edge 5 catcher? <laughs> I don't want to use a reroll on this. I guess I just dodge this and no reroll. Right, good. I don't want him punched for no reason. He could stab, then maybe he can get to there with no rolls. But it's not very exciting, is it? He can't get anywhere. Stabbing him is pretty good. He's got leader. He's got sure hands. He's got strip. Should have dodged. Did you read that? Lesnar of the elf world, yeah. <laughs> Did ha. Yeah, elf stalls are like a totally normal thing, isn't it? Where they, they hang back with a ball. Like, that's that's always been around. But not a concerted effort, like, like you know, lately. I've never seen it like that. Just a line, you know, two squares from your own end zone. Just run right back in like that. I've never seen that. Yeah, but wouldn't it be general though? That's the thing, yeah. Wouldn't you just take general? Like, I just don't see when you're going to take a rando agility. Because catchers start with dodge. They start with the best agility. So they shouldn't ever take it, right? And anyone who's getting on a double should be taking strength. <laughs> so... I think I think general arandals are really good to be fair. Like even like gutters, right? They can get wrestle or block. That's great. Kick is fine eventually. Um Dirty player would be a bit of a waste on, on a good player, of course. Frenzy's like gonna be fine a lot of the time, isn't it? Pro isn't gonna be terrible. Shadowing isn't even gonna be terrible for cutters. Yeah, exactly. It's not good because it's unbeatable. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, shtick. Like it's, and it's so stupid when people like say, "Oh, this person lost." That means the DAC is bad. Or the DACA failed, it just means their offense failed. Like, it's easy to, like, you know, play somebody at Blood Bowl and not score, <laughs> isn't it? You know, <laughs> like, every time somebody DACAs and doesn't score, it's not, a, it's like, it's weird how there seems to be people that are, like, talk really against the DACA and, like, judge every failure of the DACA as, like, every time, you know, it's like, you know, people fail and, like, say it's better against bad players. Well, yeah. So is fucking playing normally. <laughs> Two GFIs and safe.
What's this good in? Mr. Tato, is this Mr. Tato? Oh my god, that's amazing. Holy shit, this is the best song I've ever heard. Holy shit, imagine if Chugs had this as his entrance music. I really hope there's like, I mean, I'm gonna have to mod it if it's if it's possible, like, you know, 2K22, but hopefully it's just an option to have custom music in 2K22. Ugh. He hasn't made many hits, but what he has, he's bloody got a couple of removal, three, three KOs off like seven hits. <laughs> But yeah, didn't lose half the team, so that's good. Oh, here comes the foul on Zara. The one in nine dodge fail. Good, not even dead. Dirty player wrestler. Dirty player no wrestle, no block. Dirty player wrestler. We'll take the one in twelve nine six chance. He chose to kick. Um, I think I would have chosen to kick as well. It was easy, a victory for Mr. Tato, but you know, might have scored with it. It, it kind of removes variance, I think, against not as good players, right? Because you're taking less hits, like. I think you're probably going to score on your offensive drive versus somebody who's not as good as you. <laughs> it sounds bad and arrogant. It's not, though, is it? Like, he was 617 or whatever. Um, so, like, daquering, I think it removes one of the ways you can lose the game, which is, well, not removes. It, it reduces the, like, Kaz removal variance, which is the more likely way for you to get diced out of the game, isn't it? I think that's the that's the big appeal is the uh, is reducing removal variance. Oh god, it's fucking the wrong half. It's being a complete moron. You can get punched. Zero, zero. He's got SPPs, but he's also slow. Put him in the middle, because more likely to hurt. Hit the one in the middle, I guess. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Yeah, he did get lucky on those hits. Yeah, and that's that's the you know like the main route for him to victory in this game is getting lucky on those hits, isn't it? So by by daquering, you're limiting his ability to hit you as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, actually, yeah, I would probably say that's wrong from Satter, actually. Yeah, I would say, I would say, yeah, you're more, you're more likely to break him down by, like, pushing and pulling 
around the field and that, you're, you're more likely to get a safe no dice score than you are, like, you're gonna have to roll some dice at some point, Dakar. I mean, you go on whatever you do anyway, right? Whatever you do, you're gonna have to roll. Like, the, the harsh reality of elves is if you roll snakes at critical times, you're gonna struggle. But you're more likely to avoid or minimize the failure states of critical GF uh, critical snakes with a normal offense because that's your entire goal isn't it but then of course you also are more likely to get into trouble from random removals and stuff and it's not necessarily that you like you know you can still get into like you know they can have good turns stuns and stuff and just good positioning as well and they can get you into into horrible pickles where you have to make two or three critical one in 36s Anyway, you know, so it's it's not guaranteed that you just you know you score without rolling any dice because you're doing a normal offense. It's it's hard to judge. It's hard to judge. I just like that it's kind of a new thing. Fuck off! Like limited hits as much as possible here, and he's like made what two far like eight, eight, nine, ten hits, ten blocks and two fouls. Probably not. It's probably okay, but it still it still feels bad that like this was limited as almost as much as possible. Down to ten for the second half. Yeah, I I like it. I think a lot of people like it, and I think a lot of people kind of irrationally dislike it. I think I irrationally like it. Because <laughs> I do like the idea that it's a bit different. And I'm I'm struggling where to uh, rate it on the effectiveness scale. Yeah, exactly. I really like how different it is. So that makes me that makes me like it more. Yeah, not only, most likely path to victory, not only path to victory. Like, nobody's only path to victory is removals, but that's definitely the most likely path, isn't it? It was the most likely path for more pullback, even, uh, in, the, in the CNA game. <laughs> yeah, stick. I mean, that is a great, that is a great, great um, aspect of it, for sure. Fair enough, I just wanted to you know, I just wanted to clarify that. You're not denying it. It's not their only path and you're not denying it, but you are mitigating their primary route to victory. Which you may say is nitpicking, but I don't like to say wrong things if I can help it. <laughs> In the same way as nitpicky with Inari and saying, I'm using throwers wrong. I should use them hit the way he does. Like, that is just wrong. Because his, his way is definitely not the right way. He can't say that his way is the right way. Because multiple ways work. And he's not the Blood Bowl supercomputer. <laughs> Hello, Skurum. Like, it's just true, isn't it? You know, no. It's just, it's just you can call me nitpicky if you want, but that's just it. Yeah, well, I'm done. <laughs> don't know if it was the best ever, <laughs> Garyon, but it was all right. <laughs> I've <laughs> I've had better pitch invasions, like you know when my opponent had eight guys knocked over <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> I would rate those higher, but uh, you know someone's still gonna get fouled here. It's it's not great, is it? And they're still stunned. If only two two of his guys back, he's split the team in half here massively, hasn't he? I think he hasn't played this great. 
I would say, if I power this guy, it's insane, isn't it? No, it's not, because I have a 2 plus 3 with everyone anyway. Well, I've got a 2 plus 3 with everybody, whatever happens. I tag him and assist there. And then get the other two people through as well. I do I just roll some dice? I guess I just roll some dice. Full on Mr. Tato. No re rolls, just go for it, see what happens. Oh, I should have done the dodge guy first. Whoops. Hmm. It, probably not. Probably not worth it either. It's a bit rowdy, isn't it? This if he fails a seventy five percent pickup. <laughs> <laughs> Things become pretty interesting. Oh, was that seven to there? Or was it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, that's fair, Chug. That's fair. It does. It does seem like people are. Some people are. Yeah, like irrationally dislike it. But then I think my like of it is pretty irrational. It is pretty much just because it's new and interesting. It's provocative. Ah, oh, bastard! He didn't fail. Look a dog. Uh, you can watch the VOD of this uh, of this very game, Sea Shark. It's basically running everybody back to about here and passing, farming loads of passes, which I didn't do this game because I was scared. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of dodge, so it's a bit shit to do it anyway, really. It's a bit of a dickhead thing to do, like the passing. You need, need more dodges. I mean, no, need more dodge on the team if you want to do more passes. But yeah, you just on your offense, you just run everybody back. Burn the clock down for a few turns, because so, it stops you guys getting stamped on and killed. You know, which they instantly fucking do as soon as they start hitting anybody, they just kill people. Um, I guess he's dead, isn't he? And yeah, so it limits them slaughtering your team. That's quite good. And you can still just bez round and skull. Probably. You can probably score when you when you have to anyway, is the idea. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So so it, it sucks them onto you and so then you can just like they leave loads of space in behind so if they like over pursue you can you can just break away like super easily. Cause, like people do it sometimes anyway on a blitz or whatever, don't they? And then they come in and then you can you can scoot over here and then like they're just miles behind. So they, they kind of do that to themselves a bit.
I'm trying to upload two a day, so I'll, I'm gonna like do the chaos until the chaos are up to date, basically, and then once the chaos are up to date, then start with the high elves. Because I haven't been doing the chaos like every day anyway. So like the chaos are on game six or something, so like two more days of chaos. And, but then I might play a game of day. Game of Chaos, so I don't know, but like after the Chaos, I might start doing three a day, we'll see. But like, relatively soon. Relatively soon they'll go on YouTube. I'll just go back, I'll do a 1D him. 1D him is alright, isn't it? Because having a dude in the backfield is still alright, he doesn't have to be a good player, does he? Yeah. Yeah, avoid dying. February the 23rd. But the thing is, the thing is what's going to happen is from the 3rd of February, I'm going to try to play as much Warhammer 3 as possible. So... I don't know how that's going to work with play. I mean, I guess I could just play 8 hours of Warhammer 3 and then play <laughs> some hours of Blood Bowl. Ah, very good. Yeah, it's it's a bit... It's a bit dodgy. Like, people are undecided as to whether it's actually a good tactic or not. And it's really hard to assess, isn't it? Because... No shtick, no... I don't... I'm... Well... I'm trying not to care. <laughs> I'm trying not to care. Plus, it would be better to, like, play, you know, 30 games and qualify than to play 15 games one season and then 15 the next. Like, I would just rather do that. As much as I'm trying to not care. You know, it would be better to have, like, a proper run than two pathetic runs. It's just more interesting, isn't it, to have, like, a 30-game team season. Like in two 15 game team seasons. So I'm trying very hard to not care, but I just can't help but care really. Yeah, we'll link on the fouls now. Okay, these refs good, isn't it? They're both sent off. Both dirty players sent off. So why he made two removals, including a death. At least... At least he got sent off. Yeah. Yeah, the 85% effort. That was, a, that was a cool thing. Carl Lewis said that he ran it. 85% effort, that was when he did the best. I think that is the kind of best way to be as well. F funnily enough, a fucking multi gold medal Olympian knew something. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Breeze on nine. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, it is fun to be like that a bit, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty much how Rick plays, isn't it, to be fair? And it is, it is nice to be like that. just difficult for me. <laughs> it's just difficult for me. I tend to be like that with high elves though, just the hat. The hat gets me going. 
and makes me want to just be a dickhead and pass. <laughs> Basically. Man, I bet he wishes he blitzes, blitzed Zara now. Funny enough, the Bretts were like super try hard ones because, like, they're so bad. They're so bad that I had to really try hard. <laughs> could put in two guys there, uphill him, power him, stab him, and then go in and hit the ball. That is asking a lot, though, isn't it? Just trying to brute force down here, isn't he? Skellington scoring threat. Love to see it. <laughs> I don't think I've got this. I think he's just going to pass it to him and score. As well, Jeremy Corbyn and <laughs> Theresa Mim. <Mim. laughs> Hard birds hit. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uphill surf now, though, innit? Uphill surf for this fucking mummy bastard. In fact, a 1D surf if I want. It's a lot of, it's a bit of a ball ache though to do. I think I'm going to try for it anyway. Five percent effort here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, it was so fucking obvious, wasn't it? I don't know why I thought. I don't know why I thought that would be a fucking good idea. I can't roll dice. And it's fucking destroyed my defense. I should have just taken the power. It was completely idiotic. But it was fun, wasn't it? It was fun, even if it was terrible. <laughs> I 
That's why I don't do shit. Like, I've demolished my own defence, haven't I? After defending hard for like fucking five turns, I've just destroyed it for no reason. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Aubrey. Just absolutely destroyed my own fucking defence. Annihilated my defence. For the chance of surfing a fucking strength five. Like, it just didn't matter. Should just powered it. It's pretty late. That's my I'm, that's my defense. That's the defense I'm going with. It's late. It wasn't patience. It was again just thinking of the eighty five as anything. Thinking fuck it. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun to surf a tomb guardian. But but the problem is every time I try something fun, if it doesn't work, I just have the instant regret of why the fuck didn't I just play optimally. <laughs> that's the thing <laughs> that's the problem with me trying anything fun is if it doesn't work I'm like fuck me why did I ever try to be fun why did I ever ever think it was possible to just do something for fun nothing nothing but absolute brutal efficiency in future for me I've learned my lesson Meanwhile, he uphill surf, no problem. Yep. Yep, that makes sense, doesn't it? Go on, surf your own fucking Tomb Guardian. No. I'm not sure about the catcher, to be honest. I'm not sure. I like how he gets the fucking uphill as well. Fuck me. I mean, it drives over now, so. Okay. I've got to go here first anyway. There's still a, it's still a GFI whether I uh, dodge or not. Good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't go through. I guess it's because he's not very good at the blood balls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge out to there and then pass it to him. And then he dodges to there and he dodges to like here. It's it's doable. Okay, well I just made it easier for him. Brilliant. No, not punt. Jim Shad. <laughs> Maybe I should have just left it on the ground there with money up two turns. Ah, 
have thrown this defense away though. Never again, never again, never. Never do stupid things unless the game isn't, lose, isn't losable because otherwise I'll upset myself. I always do it as well. Like every time it doesn't work, I just have the instant regret of why did I fucking do that, it's stupid. Yeah, exactly, Skuro, yeah. Yeah, that's it though, isn't it? That's it, it's, it's because of the regret. It's not that like, you know, doing that for fun sometimes is all right, isn't it? Eight times out of nine, it works. I'm quite happy that I did a, like I did that move for fun, but it, it, it doesn't equal, it doesn't equal out with the one in nine chance, how upset I am in the one in nine chance. That's the thing. The one time out of nine, I'm so disappointed and, you know, fucking moany about it. I probably shouldn't do it. Dodge. So it could either way he does. Yeah, he's going to go there. Right, we've got this six plus dodge here. Easy. Okay, first things first. Boom. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've got the canoring threat. Easy. Double one the stab. <laughs> right. The bad thing is if he fouls him, but he's just gonna score, isn't he? He's not gonna foul him. So there you go, Drew a Drew an almost certain win if I just hadn't gone to try and surface Team Guardian. But eight times out of nine I would have surfed his Team Guardian. And that would have made defending the score. Not really more likely than if I hadn't served as Tomb Guardian, really. It would have made it a bit stronger, I guess. And it would have made the counter score better, maybe, as well. So it might have been the right decision to do this, the, the, the surf. But, unfortunately, it's probably not worth how happy I'd be eight times out of nine versus how sad I'd be one time out of nine. <laughs> I think that's the calculation that's more important than like the equity or the or the EV or anything. It's probably more just what's the chance of it fucking pissing me off. <laughs> one turn it it might be on. Probably not. He's got strength 5 on the OS. That's the problem. If I had a second catcher, not if I had a throw, but if I had a second catcher, and I could blitz with the uh, blitz with a strength 5 one. No, this is where I needed the second throw. This is where I needed the second catcher. This is definite second catcher situation. And not, not throw a situation. How is he fucking defending a one turn? Like, what the hell? What the hell? God damn it. God damn it. God damn you. <laughs> wow. I'm stunned. I'm actually stunned about this. This is tragic. <laughs> what the fuck? I just don't get it. I just don't get it.
say, yeah, throw would be pretty great right now. Hmm. I mean, he's set up to stop the one turn, so I guess I've got to reroll that. Yeah, now I knock people over. I don't know, the surf might have been right. It might have been the right play for winning the game, but I don't know. I just think it's not right in terms of how it makes me feel <laughs> on average. Uh, well, there you go, that was a game. Is it worth 5 SPPs for movement 5? Maybe. I don't know. Could buy. Well, it, I can't buy a reserve because it would just replace the loan. So I can't get a reserve now anyway, whatever happens. And yeah, the loan is get the, the catch is getting to block or dodge. I'm really not sure. Maybe he's blocked because he tends to be the guy who glitzes every turn because he's strength 5, so probably block first to be fair. And then dodge at 51. <laughs> uh, 3 2 0, pretty bad record. But I guess haven't lost, so that's alright, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.